we're going to jump over here, guys. And and uh, so we're going to go to page number five as we're nearing the end of the of the show here. And and guys, this is a bore we call stomping ground. And uh, Hunter, drop your guy right on out there, too. So the bore that Mitchell's got and the bore that Hunter's got, Hunter's bore is called the answer. Uh, these was two private treaty purchases that we purchased off the Cook family. And, and you know, uh, if you've seen us something here, this is where world class, this is where uh, Flatliner rolled out of. And, and so, guys, uh, I, I'm driving you a pair of bores here uh, that are different. And uh, uh, different than other Hampshire bores that you're going to see in the country today. So we'll talk about the bore that Mitch has got here, stomping grounds. Uh, uh, this, both bores, tall-shouldered. Big frame, great belted, tremendous Hampshire. And I said that, tremendous Hampshire characteristics. And guys, I'm going to tell you, look at the color. These guys have not been baby. They have not been out in the sun. This is their natural, natural collar. So they're out of coming home. So those of you want to know who coming home is, he's a primetime son that V traced. Stranded. If you're in the Hampshire world, you know who stranded is. But their mother was the champion Hampshire guilt, and I believe she's the fifth overall last year at Louisville. So let's talk hogs here just a second as they drive these boars around. Great boars come from great sows. We like to go back to the well where the water tastes good. We've done well with the Cook family genetics, and we're going to continue to do well. So two unique Hampshire boars here. Boars that are tall-shouldered, deep-bodied, impeccable feet and legs. Absolutely no holes in them. Do you need to take them to a little bit of muscle shape? Yes, you do. But I bet you got it at home. Ever find a Hampshire hog that doesn't breed more muscle than he's got? Well, that's what the breed does. Look at the length, the stride, the ease of movement, the natural head carriage coming out of these two guys. I'll be real honest with you. Jeff told me that he wasn't going to sell them. And he wanted to go win Louisville. He wanted to go win Louisville with the answer. The boy right here. So I had to find out what the not going to the show price was. And that was the price. And I bought them. When we stalked earlier there that we've tried to step up to the plate for our customer base. And offer you various types of hogs that can gravitate towards the top of the class. And make hogs better in all breeds. Right here is two boars that can push you that way. Again, coming home stranded. Mitchell has got stomping ground. Mitchell's over here to my left or uh, over here on this side of the ring. And Hunter has the answer. And he's out in the middle as he takes that boar back. You know, I think these guys, Amy and Lindsay, we've discussed these boars, and I'm not going to tell you who likes one over the other because uh, it, uh, I don't know if it matters, but uh, we're not on the same boar. We're not even on the same page. And I think that's the good thing. So, uh, folks, there's two unique Hampshire boars right there that uh, I think is going to offer the breed a tremendous opportunity make Hampshire hogs better. So boys, we'll let these out. <laughs> 